Dr. Google is, former full-time tax evader and now teacher of all things Google Classroom. Tax evasion is just a hobby now. I'm here to give you tips on how to make your Google Classroom experience more radical. Issue that many students have faced with Google Classroom is organization. Tons of material will be uploaded to classrooms every week, and it can be difficult to find specific notes and assignments that you might be looking for. Mega bummer. That's where the to-do list comes in handy. You can find this on the side of the home stream. When clicked, you can see all of your assignments sorted by the date that they're due. Any finished assignments will be stored away in a tab at the top so that they don't clog up your feed like the pesky little troglodytes they are. Now look, I hear you. What if you want this same kind of organization but with about 500% more rectangles? Well, I got some good news for you, my friend. If you head over to the Classwork tab, you can find all of your assignments sorted out by dates. Just look at all those quadrilaterals. These two forms of organization may seem similar to the untrained eye, but they can each be useful depending on the situation. Google Classroom will display all the assignments from all of your classes so you can get a clear roadmap of your week. To-do lists, on the other hand, are tailored for each specific classroom. That way you don't have as much to sift through whenever you're trying to find a specific assignment. Of course, if your notes and assignments are only a small part of your school career, there's also a more important part, the gum on the bottom of your desk. Oh yeah, there's also your teachers and classmates, I guess. Yes, your teachers and classmates will play an important role in your school career, and you'll be interacting with them a lot throughout the school year. There are likely to be times when you have to contact some of these people, whether it be your teachers for help on an assignment or a classmate for a group project. But what if you don't know the name of one of your classmates? And what if you can't tell which of these emails belongs to your teacher because there's so many of them? Luckily for you, there's the handy dandy Manny's Flavor Candy People tab. With this tab, you can see a handy list of all the students and teachers that have access to that Google Classroom page. Now you can send those important emails without any fear of it not sending correctly. Bazonkers! Hopefully these tips will help you use Google Classroom more efficiently. Now, instead of being stressed and disorganized, you can be distressed but with organization. This has been Dr. Google Miss. Now, if you could excuse me, I need to record another new tips and tricks video about collecting and selling beanie babies. I know they're going to be a really big expensive item in a few decades. Well, that's it for now. See ya. <laughs>